voices. So you're going to hear voices talk to you. Now, the only way you're going to know the voice of God, you got to know the Word of God, to know His voice. Because uh, there's many voices. Uh, in fact, there was uh, Cotton Pilsen. Uh, he had a, a, one of the largest churches yeah. in Tulsa. Cotton Pilsen. He, was, he, was, he, was, he had a, a real large church. So he listened to a voice that told him that uh, hell that, that hell is not real. Yeah. So he started teaching and preaching. Them. And then he lost he lost his church. All right, now... That's why you got it. Now, this man knew the Bible. This man knew the Bible. He knew the word. So I don't care if you have a large church, a small church, a medium sized church, I don't care what size church you got. Them voices are talk to you. And if you don't know their voice, you're going to fall in the trap. Amen. That man fell in the trap yeah, he did. and lost everything. I ain't playing that game. I'm telling you, God and took me to another level, and y'all are going to see it in me. So I'm going to do some correction. I'm going to do Amen. some rebuke. Amen. With all long suffering. Amen. And I'm going to love you while I'm doing it. Amen. I do love Amen. you. Love you. <laughs> you say you love those that you correct. Mm -hmm. Chastise. You love you. you now, y'all want to keep catching with me? Go ahead. I want God to love you without catching the with me. There you go. That's the plan. Will you with you? Are you doing good? Nope. nope. I ain't no with you. I know that. You know what your children are doing good? Come on, y'all. Walk with me a little bit. I know y'all don't do that. So God ain't either. Come with me to page 96. Exodus 19 chapter. Amen. There's going to be Exodus, amen, the 19 chapter. Amen. The, starting at the fifth verse. Starting at the fifth verse. Uh, now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant. So how you obey his voice? By knowing his word. By knowing his word, keeping his what? Commandment. His commandment. That's his covenant. Y'all going to see. We're going to tie that covenant in with his commandment. Exodus what, Pastor? As Exodus 19. 19 and 5. So you have to know the voice of God because you're going to have a lot of voices talking to you. That's why the scripture says you don't take a new convert mm -hmm. and put him over anything because the Bible says to get lifted up in pride. Yeah, and the devil, and the Bible said the devil used him. That was the scripture said. That's in the New Testament. Yes, sir. He has to have enough word in him yeah. to be able to be in a position to lead some things in the church. Yeah. Because then he's going to listen to the wrong voice. All right. And it sounds like God. Carl yeah. Bill said it was God talked to him. Yeah, it wasn't. Came to him as a light. Yeah, I know who that is. The devil. And then, but the devil appeared to him. Yeah. And he fell for it. But that's going, he listened to something that's going against the word. Uh, Brother John, what I just got to say, I don't care how much words you know, if you listen to that, you're going to fall. Yeah. How come he didn't use a word against, against it? That's all. That's my well, point. he didn't. He didn't. And he fell. Come on, let's make this thing real. Yeah. How many preachers out there know the word? And they're still doing a little stuff on the side. A lot of them. A bunch of them out there. Preacher, you ain't getting away. You think God is marked. You better go read that scripture. God ain't marked. Whatever man sow it, that's also what he's going to reap. If you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap death. If you sow to the spirit, you reap life. It's got to be the spirit. Now, you're not all spirit. you got your flesh there. That's why the devil used, amen, a lot of preachers today to sin. Fifth verse. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed, keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure. You gonna be a what? Peculiar, peculiar treasure. That's when you obey. Yeah. Mm, I peculiar. You're different. Yeah. You're not. You're a little different. You're different. You're a and people are gonna look at you. Oh, you think you all that? Well, yeah. I guess I am. If God made me all that. That's yeah. it. That's it. And some more. I'm looking for some more. Amen. Some what? And some more. And what? And more and more. I like more. Right, it ain't no end to God when you go yeah, in the right yeah, direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me about what? All people. I'm gonna make you above all the people. He do that. That's what I'm gonna cut it now. You got you got you got I got an agreement with you now. My covenant, I'm gonna make an agreement. 
That's what a covenant is. A covenant also means an agreement. All right, when I did, I Googled it. I said covenant, uh, a Bible definition. Yeah. See, Bible definition is a little bit different from a uh, Western definition. Right, right. So I say Bible definition. It says uh, to abide an agreement. To abide in an agreement. You bind it. An agreement. You're yeah. binding with God. So, okay, I'll do this. He said, okay, if you do this, I'll do this. If you don't do this, I'm going to do this to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, some, some people don't know the covenant. Yeah. They don't know the agreement. Yeah. With God is agreement. agreement. So yeah. they think you just do anything. Watch out now. And you gave a king treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is what? Mine. It's mine. I got that. I own that. So I'm going to make an agreement with you. If, you. if you obey my agreement, I got this whole world I can bless you with. Whoa. I got everything in this earth belonging to me. Yes, sir. The earth is the Lord and the fullness of hell and all those that dwell in the wrong town. Yeah. Lord, how much a cow and a thousand hills is his. It can't be having a thousand hills because everything is here. It's his hill. Amen. You own it, Pastor. Why would I go against the God that's going to bless me? I ain't done. I'm yeah. gonna try it if y'all want to. I'm try it in the foolish. Yeah. Didn't work out too good for me. Didn't work for me either. Didn't work for me either. All the best of the Lord. Hey Amen. Uh, and also, I look at that and it said between God and his children. So God has some children. Who else got children? The devil. The devil. That's in, that's, you find that? Hey Amen. The first y'all. Hey Amen. The third chapter. Hey Amen. The ten verse. Right. Hey Amen. The children of God, the children of the devil. Hey, right. yeah, you're gonna find that. Let, let's go to first y'all. Let's go to first y'all. Make sure we give you the right verse. I know it's the right chapter, but I want to make sure I give you the right verse. I don't want to add that to the word. Take that away from it. Huh? First John chapter five. First John, third chapter. Third chapter. That's fourteen fifty six. Fourteen fifty six. Thank you, brother Joe. Mm -hmm. Amen. First John, the page fourteen fifty six. Yeah. The third chapter. And I want to get over there and take a look at it to make sure I'm giving you the right verse. The third chapter. Verse 10. Verse 8, huh? 10. Let's see. And, it, and did he, that's it? I'll give you the right one. 3 and 10. Yeah. And this is the children of God are manifested. And the children of the who? Devil. See, I used to be a child of the devil. Yeah, me too. I was born in the sin. That's right. So he owned me. Yeah. But Jesus. Hallelujah. Bought me. With his blood. Yeah. Lord, how much he shed his blood. Hallelujah. And he brought me back to God. All right. Now I'm looking to live holy. Watch out now. Without sin. Come on. Without him. sin. Because I know somebody can keep me from falling. The scripture said on any given day. The scripture said, God is able to keep me from falling. Yes. That's and I had to fall because somebody else fall. Yes, he pleases you. I quoted that this morning. You did? Yeah, in my spiritual exercise, I built up my spiritual muscles. All right. And whipped that devil to the day. And the children of the devil who's doing not righteous is not of God. Mm -hmm. So he done told me which one, which children belong to God, and which one don't belong. I'm a fruit inspector. I'm a kind of thing. Fruit inspector. I'm going to check your fruits when you come here. I am the fruit. I'm getting better at my fruits, too. All right. I almost can close my eyes. So I got to open back up, see what you're up to. All right. Look, look clear now. Yeah, I got to make sure it's clear. That's it, that's all. And who say I'm doing not righteous is not of God? Need he that loveth not as what? Well. Brother. I've got to love you. Yeah. I don't give what you do to me. Yeah. But I've still got to correct you. Rebuke you. In love. That's how it go. Because I want to see you do right. Because I already know what God's looking for. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Righteousness. Because that's his children. Yeah. So when you're doing wrong, who child are you? The devil. Yeah. You're the devil child. Look at what you say with your mind. Yeah. Y'all don't care. Say, how you say it with your mind? You're a child of the devil. Yeah. Hey, that's yeah. all. Yeah. But y'all don't cut no corners no more. He threw cutting corners. All right. I, I, we ain't watering it down with you. If y'all want to water it down, y'all got to go somewhere else. Don't come here. Don't come here. Because we're going to give it to you straight. And when they give it to you straight, you're going to go out straight. There you you ain't going to be crooked when you leave. <laughs> straight as hell. Plumb line. And the blessed say that, Lord. Anyway, come with me now. 
Amen. Page 453, 1 King 89. 453, uh, page, uh, 1 King 89. 1 King. I ended up with more groceries. I'm doing some more studying on it. And uh, I ended up with more groceries. So I'm going to load that. Because we ain't going to be able to finish with the groceries we got. We're going to run out of time before we run out of the word. And I wish I'd be praying for Brother Johnson here in the hospital at Baptist at 4 or 6. I'll be praying for him. He's going through, he's going through some stuff right now. He at what, Pastor? 4 or 6? 4 or 6 at the Baptist Hospital. 4 or 6. Yes, sir. Okay, in 453, 1 Kings 8, chapter 9, verse. Mm -hmm. There was nothing in the ark save the two tablets of stone. Now, notice there was nothing in the ark. It said which Moses put there in at hall when the Lord made it what? Covenant. covenant. So the covenant was the two tables of stone. <laughs> I wish I was catching it. Mm -hmm. So you, we got scripture to back us up what the covenant is. Uh, the two tables of stone, that's the Ten Commandments that he put in there. Yeah. But like I said, we did a lesson on that, some teaching on that one time. Uh, with the children of Israel, when they came out of the land of Egypt, and it came to pass when the priest would come out of the holy place, and the cloud filled the house of the Lord. Yeah. Watch, 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 let me see, watch that other verse now. Uh, so that the priest, the uh, Lord, how much? So that the priest could not stand to minister before the, because of the cloud, for who was there? God. The glory of the Lord was filled the house of the Lord yeah. because his covenant was there. Yeah. So he filled up the house. His word. Because his covenant was there. I said, Y'all, God, glory going to fill this house up. Amen. I said, going to fill it. When they walk in, they're going to know something going a little different than where they've been. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they're going to fill the presence oh, of God. Yeah. Bless us, everybody. You got to get up and down and get a little light. Why, Jesus? Amen. Come with me now. Amen. Come with me to um, Jeremiah 31 and 31. 31, 31, 9, 30. That's page 938. Jeremiah the 31 and 31. That's going to be 9. Page 938. Right. Jeremiah 31 and 31. Behold, the day has come, said the Lord. Thou will make a what? Did he do that? Yeah. See, that's, pro that's prophecy right there that's been fulfilled. It is in the New Testament. We have a new covenant. Yeah. Did he change in the new covenant? Y'all yeah, gonna find out he did not change. Same. Now Jesus Christ took the law and had it to the law. Yes, he did. Uh, that's why you need to study Matthew the fifth chapters, six and seven. You see how Jesus Christ, and when he, especially in Matthew the fifth chapter, you get a whole lot of groceries about the law, what Jesus Christ dealt with. The law. My God, my God. Making a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. That's right, but you have to fulfill the scripture. Right. Then the second part. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers and the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Which my covenant they did, they broke, they broke it. Although I was a husband unto them, said the Lord. He was their husband. Yeah. Take care. But they didn't want the covenant. How many people today don't want to come there? And some children threw it out for a grace message. You know, one of the most interesting things in verse 32, he said he, he, he established that covenant with him. But he said that, he said that I took them by the hand. I mean, God was holding them and trying to leave them the whole while. Like while the mother grabbed her child hand and holds them to try to keep them secure. That's amazing. Well, the uh, scripture said in the New Testament, he said, just like a hen. Yeah, 
They would gather their business together, yeah. and you would not. He said, I tried to put you in my wing, but you didn't want to stay. Yeah. You want to run off and go do something against my yeah. commandments, yeah. my law, and my statutes. Took all the right. As in the New Testament. You know, Pastor, isn't that the most perfect example that God uses us for, uses to show us how we should be? You know, as parents, we learn these things, and and as we're we're taking our children by the hand. You sometimes you see them kicking and rearing back and saying, "No, you know, they want to do." Their own thing, you know, or go another way. You know, uh, what I'm trying to say is that we learn to continue regardless whether they kick back. You know, to show them the right way. Amen. And there, there is the grace and the love that God has for us. You know, that we see. You know, because he loves us, he continues doing this. You know, they, 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 they murmured and complained for 40 years. Yeah. But it says that he took them by the hand. Right. Yeah. And what happened to the one that murdered for 40 years? They, they, they died they 20 died. years they or one? And then, only the one <laughs> 20 years or none. Round and round and And he, they died in the wilderness because the they were in rebellion. Because of their disobedience. Yeah, dis- y'all want to be like that? No, sir. Y'all want to go around the mountain? No, sir. Years? No, sir. Y'all want to obey? I didn't get around the mountain. I'm still going around the mountain. It took us about 40 years to get our, our minds right, said it. Uh-huh. It Praise took us God. about four years to get our mindset right. We have many, well, many years already to be in this. If, if she'd have started at two years old, sister, would she have got a mind, mindset? <laughs> 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 if she'd have been trained at two, would she got a mindset? Me too. In our, in our culture, it's like perhaps they did start at a young age, but they start with the wrong church. Yeah, yeah. The wrong religion. maybe the wrong, the wrong word, the, the wrong, wrong word. Words. Yeah, the wrong yeah. word. See, and that happens. And that's where we did a lot of falling. Yeah, that happens. Until we yeah. came back to the word itself. Yeah. And when we found the word itself, it sustained us to Amen. where we're not falling no more. Okay. Because we know the difference. I got something else to add to that. Amen. And you know what I want to say to that, though? A lot of the times, also, we're taught the right thing, we're but we're not shown. We're not doing it. The right thing. Yeah. We're taught not to do this, but then yet yeah, here you sitting with a beer in your hand or a cigarette in your in your in your, in your hand or, yeah. or, or doing what it's not the Is that an example doing. as a child of y'all before yeah. people to have a cigarette and a beer in your hand? No, I could sir. never understand on how my no, parents sir. were so strict about going to Catholic Mass. I wanna say it. <laughs> you know, but afterwards yes. going home and barbecuing and and, and and so on and fighting and, and arguing and all of this. Yeah, but that's because they wouldn't talk. They weren't taught to them. All right. Here, here, let me add to what Sister Godwin said. Thank you. That she was taught uh, at, at an age where she was taught wrong. Mm-hmm. All right. There are some children. This is actually happening in the family. I got a, a witness right there, but John Dalton. There are some children that at a young age they get saved and parents that had nothing to do with it. Mm-hmm. Like when I was young, when my grandma was still alive, uh, I w- she was a Catholic. She made sure that I was in communion. I made my first communion. Uh, I was baptized as a kid. The only thing I didn't do was confirmation. Every weekend, I looked very forward to be with her and my grandpa. Right? She would take me. And back then, their church was boring. I didn't understand it. The only thing that I got excited for was for Sunday school when I went with other kids to mm-hmm. learn about Bible study and Jesus and mm-hmm. God. But like you said, it's up to the parents. My grandma was trying to teach me about the Lord, but when my parents were still young, in their 20s, maybe 30s, drinking and partying, you know what I mean? They couldn't teach you about the you Lord. Know, right. They couldn't teach me, but right. now as my mother is uh, sober and my stepdad, I mean, they're... How many kids read books? Yeah, not, not that many. I mean, I mean, they, they got a lot of kids read books. Yeah, my yeah, mine do. They do. They read the wrong books. Yeah. But they read the books. Now, some kids, I go back to some kids, they'll start reading the Bible mm-hmm. as a child. Mm-hmm. Right. I know a man got a church here, pastor today. Him and his wife is in church. Both of them was lost. 
and their daughter led them to the Lord. Because mm -hmm. she got into the water. Yeah. That's how my daughter got me and her mother. She, she did it. She said, she told us, it don't matter if you don't bring me to church, I'm going to move, you know. Yeah. And she told her mom she was going to move with me. And so, but, but again, Pastor, the first book a child should read is the Bible. Yeah. That's, I saw I said it that. again. Yeah. And they say, well, a child Bible. Just give them this Bible here. Yeah. yeah. Don't need no out. child Bible. It might leave something out. Yeah. I've got kids come here, five years old, and, and, and seven years old be telling me some thoughts. Yeah. Because it's been around the world. Yeah. Yeah. It's been around. I got a little brother. He come in here at seven years old. And, and, uh, little Timothy. Yeah, little Timothy. Said the devil yeah. was dangling. I said, well, Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I never forget that. Because y'all be surprised them kids can come up with you teach yeah. them right. Yeah. If you were. Teach them right. Teach them right. Your brother David can preach that word like I'm talking about. Give a lot of hands up for that. Let's go. Uh, let's look at, uh, what, did we, we finish no, 32? No, you finished, go to 33, Pastor. Did we finish 32? Yeah, yeah. I was a husband okay. unto them, said the uh, Lord. That's all, I just want to make sure we finish that. Yeah. All right, now we're going to 33. But then, thank you, And But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. I will put my what? Law. We're going to put who? His law. Yeah. In their inward parts. Yeah, yeah. And write it in their hearts. Mm -hmm. It would be their God, and it should be what? My people. How many, how many preachers y'all know can quote the Ten Commandments? You, I guarantee you ask me to quote it, you're going to be a bunch of them. Because all they've been taught is about His grace and His love. Yeah. Some of them have been taught about His right and His judgment. And some of them don't even know nothing about God's right and judgment. They ain't been taught that. They better know. They better know the flip better side. Better because that's, that's the end time. Yes, sir. When that end time comes and everything is over, that's what he's going to use. Yes, he ain't going to use his mercy and his grace. His wrath time. The Bible says uh, there's a day of wrath. You know, there's a day set aside. God got God's it. wrath to come. Ain't that On something? the children of disobedience. Disobedience. I children of disobedience. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be with them children, Lord. They ain't going to preach that because that ain't nothing they can shout off. Well, I'm through with that crowd, but y'all. Mm -hmm. I done made, I dropped, took me to another level. I don't know if y'all know this or not. But I went to another level with the Lord, and I'm staying at this level, and he's going to take me something higher than that. Come with me to uh, Hebrews 9th chapter. Golly, Pastor, I wanted you to read 34 too, because we ain't got to. Huh? I wanted you to read 34. I'm going to read 34. I ain't left the page yet. Yeah? Okay, okay. Yeah, but we're going to be reading with Brother Charles. And it shall teach no more every man his neighbor, every man his brother, say, Know the Lord, they all shall know me from the least to the greatest of them, yeah. said the Lord, I will forgive their iniquity, and I remember what? Their sin. I will Lord. forgive them, and I will remember their sin. Yeah. All right, so since God forgave me, and he don't remember what I did, y'all think I'm going back? I ain't going back. You go back if you want to. That's on you. But I ain't going back. I know that's right. Because I know what he's done for me. Amen. I love that best time. You might remember, I may have somebody uh, uh, 38 years ago. They brought us something back there 38 years. I said, oh, let me back up and get something a little closer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't nothing closer to get. It wasn't nothing closer to get. Come on now. Oh, you It's a shame when people say, well, I forgive you, but I will never forget. Because they ain't forgave. Well, don't leave the people alone, Sister God. They ain't they ain't what? They ain't Only they God can forgive you. Come on, y'all. Yeah, walk with me. That people can't do that. Yeah. People can't forgive and forget. Only right. so if you got some God in you, you can do that. That's it. Come right. on, so say, that that some in you. say that again. Say that again. Gotta have some God in you to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That don't yeah. come natural. Yeah. yeah. No, that don't come natural. Uh, that flesh won't let you do it. And, uh, <laughs> and I like the way they go around saying. I like the way they turn around and say, "Well." Uh, like, for instance, me, that I have Jesus in me, that I can forgive and I can forget. They say, well, it's not you forgetting, it's you with the Alzheimer's. Because <laughs> you're getting old. <laughs> I don't want the Alzheimer's. No, I don't want that, neither. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I eat right. I'm, like, oh I'm going to make sure I what? Eat right. Well, this is all time because you eat wrong. <laughs> no, I'm not. I have Jesus in me, so I know how to forgive and forget. Yeah. But yeah. if 
if I didn't have Jesus, then I don't know how to forget. My, my mother was taking her Elquist for her medicine. But that's something that they just come out and say, well, mom, the only reason you know how to forgive and forget is because you have Alzheimer's. Because I mean, they're trying to be funny. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, tell them, no, you got to know. Yes, exactly. That's the only reason. You're standing ground. I get you. Why, why are they being funny standing ground? <laughs> now, here's another thing. My mother was taking Elquist. And she was losing her memory. She couldn't remember if she ate or not. So I was her provider. I had to take care of my mother. Now, I had to do a research to find out why she was having problems. Because mm -hmm. she had eight medications she was taking. Before it was over with, she wouldn't take it now. Oh, no. It was pneumonia. The doctor gave her a shot of pneumonia. And she caught pneumonia. She couldn't take no shots. Everybody can't do that. Right. Yeah. I can't wait for you better be careful that. Yeah, I took it and it made me sick and worse than the world. Well, your body did you to leave that stuff alone. Yeah, I, I, I'll never take it. Uh, I take Jesus and I take vitamin C, vitamin D, E. I take vitamins. Yeah. And minerals in my body. I take my vitamins. Because if your immune system is high enough, you won't you won't get in that. Yeah. You got to keep your immune system up. That's why a lot of people catch colds because they work hard, 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 hard and don't get the rest. And then their body goes down, mm -hmm. and they don't know how to build it up. You have to know how to build your body back up. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't be resisting this stuff. All right, sir. Uh, it's on today. Amen. Get it on. Get it on. Get Give the Lord another hand clap for you. Thank you, Brother John. Thank you, Lord. You were. If they come to page 433, Hebrews 9 and 14. Hebrews what, 9 and 14. That's where I want to go. Lord, let me see here. Oh, uh, let's see what I got here. I got some mess. Somebody has some mess here. Hebrews 8 and 8. Hebrews 8 and 8, page 1433. Amen. 8 and 8. That sounds good. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the day has come, said the Lord. Hold up, Pastor. Hold up, Pastor. You got to get that. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're going to work on you. Okay, there you go. 1433. Yes, sir. That's the top. That's uh, Hebrews 8, chapter. And 8 verse. 8 verse. All right. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the day has come, said the Lord. Now, that was already prophesied in Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. When I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Now, a lot of people say, Oh, that's the Old Testament. Well, I'm going to the New Testament with you. He's right there now. Yeah, it's in the New Testament to you. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Same word. Because of the, they, they continue not in my covenant. And I regarded them not, says the Lord. I didn't, I, because they broke my covenant, I didn't regard them. Yeah, and folks, somebody got a relationship with God breaking this covenant. You ain't fooling me. You might fool yourself. I say you might fool yourself. You ain't fooling yeah. me. Now. That kind of relationship. How can two walk together? Yeah, God ain't walk with you. Somebody walk with you, but it ain't God. I said voice. That's what my message is about. There are many voices. The watch them talking to you. All right. And best said hello. Come on, man. Jim Pride, for this is the covenant that I will make, amen, with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind, write them in their hearts, and I'll be to them a God, and it shall be to me a what? That's the same thing with prophets of our Lord. Yeah. yeah. Very words. Right there in the New Testament. Very words. And man trying to throw the law out. But go ahead, I'll play with, play with God if you think you play with it. Huh? Ain't nobody to play with. I ain't tell you that right now. Play I done caught enough with it. That's why I always hear BG Bible said, I'm going to correct you, I'm going to rebuke you, and I'm going to do everything I got to do in love. Amen. I love it. Trying to get you out of the thing. Amen. Now, if you want to stay in, that's between you and you and the Lord. But I'm going to try to get you out. All right. Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, all right, let's look at another. Let's go to, let's go to uh, John 10 and 7, page 1272. John 10 and 7. Praise the Lord. Who get the glory? Yeah. We're going to get all of you, Lord. Amen. See, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a word preacher. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, I know some preachers say, well, I don't, I, 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 I get my message and I don't have to open up the Bible. Go ahead and get your message because you're going to put in there what you want anyhow. Yeah, you off your message. 
But if I got this scroll here, I got the scroll open. You got the what? The who open? The scroll. I got the scroll open. Well, that way we won't miss nothing. If you start, right. if you start preaching without the word, without that scroll open, I ain't gonna be here. Oh yeah, you'll be here. I ain't gonna be here. Uh, that's the way I teach. You preach out the scroll. Yeah, I don't think I would. Yeah, that scroll straight to Herman out if you did yeah. cricket. Yeah. Oh, I see you, Herman. Yeah. Well, I saw him at the scroll. In the scroll. That's that mirror. I see you. You ain't hiding from me. I'm gonna straighten you out. What'd you say, Pastor? I'll get you straight. I'm gonna start with you first, Herman. There you go. Before you try to straighten somebody else out. Get it right. Amen. Bless God. Come with me, amen, to page 1272, the 10th chapter. The, uh, Lord, have mercy, God. The, uh, seventh verse. Amen. Uh, then said Jesus to them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Who is the door? Yeah. Yeah. See, that the scripture says that there's a highway of holiness. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's to get to his house. Yeah. Now once I get to God's house, I, I gotta get there, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now once I get to the gates, you gotta know how to get in. I gotta know how to get in the gate. Yeah. And Jesus is the gate. The door yeah. of that gate. Yeah. Lord, that's what I said. I said, Jesus is. He has told you who he is. Yeah, Amen. Know. That you can't get in there without him. I know what I'm talking about. Come with me to Matthew. You hold your finger there because we're coming right back. We're going to see some got in and then throw it out. Yes, that's up. Put them out. Got it. That's page 1144. Matthew, the 8th chapter. Hey, man, let's go on to the 10th verse. All right. Matthew, the 8th chapter, 10th verse. I'm giving y'all some extra groceries. Okay. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I said unto you, I have not found greater faith, no, not in Israel. Now he did it. Amen. With this man, he's a centurion. Mm -hmm. And he asked Jesus Christ to come and heal his yeah. servant. To come that, 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 that his servant to be here. He said, Well, I'm going to come to you out. He said, I ain't worthy for you to come now. Yeah. But just say the word. Yeah. And my servant, he'll be healed. He said, Because I'm a man of authority. Yeah. I tell a man to go, he takes off. Yeah. I tell a man to come, he come back. I got some authority. Right. He said, I know something about you, Jesus. I know you can just say it. Amen. All right, all right. I don't even have to be there. Well, all right, all right. Come on now. Mm. And it's going to take And it's going to happen. All right. Yes. And he said, I ain't found. So, so great a faith in all Israel. Yeah. What are you looking for? He looking for somebody that got some faith. Yeah. I can believe he can do what he say he can do. And that you don't have to stay in the condition you're in. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Mm. That's what I said, Lord. Let him burn. I say unto you that many shall come from the east and the west and shall sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. They Who are they sitting down with? They up there. Isaac. Isaac. Yeah. Abraham. That, they got in. They got yeah. in. They got in there. They already in there. But you see, Jesus Christ hadn't died yet. Yeah. Jesus Christ hadn't risen yet. Yeah. But now he done risen. Yeah. Now he gone back. And clean up the house. That's it. The ones that didn't want them. I said, that's the ones that didn't want Jesus. Okay. All they want is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. And that's how they got to heaven. Yeah. You can't stand heaven without Jesus. All right. How are you going to stand heaven without the king? Yeah. What? I don't show the people. That's what they thought. Yeah. Why would Jesus going to do with it? All right. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast what? Oh, out, right. out, of, out of darkness. They should be weeping and gashing of teeth. And they want Jesus. Yeah, yeah. They just want Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's why I'm the Pharisee. That's why they miss Jesus because they didn't want to believe on him. You gonna miss him too if you don't believe on him. If you don't believe his teaching, his word, you gonna miss him. You gonna miss him. You yeah. gotta believe what he said. You, and you want to find him. Amen to the word. Amen. My God, Amen. my God. You own it, pal. So let's go back to page 70, 12, 72. Amen. Let's go. Oh, Lord, how much God? Eight per. Uh, all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. So a sheep is one that follows the shepherd. That's right. Jesus is that shepherd. Amen. How are you going to follow somebody and you don't know his voice? Come on, man. That we did with as many voices. So how are you going to follow somebody 
and you ain't got no word in you. Uh -oh. And you're talking about you following the Lord. Wait, well, okay then. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You ain't fooling me. Wait a minute now. Did I hear them? Look at that word. I am the door. But by me, if any man enter in, he shall be what? Oh, I can get saved. I said, I can get saved if I come to Jesus. He said, because that's the only way you're going to get saved. You can't get saved no other way. A Buddha, how to a fist of moon a No, all them folks out there, you ain't going to get saved no other way. Leaving people alone, they're dead. They did. But Jesus is alive. And doing well. And she ain't going to be no leader, neither. <laughs> Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. Amen, brother. Thank you, sweet Jesus. By God, by God. Amen. Uh, Lord, how about it? Go ahead, brother. Uh, and you should be saved, and you go in and out and find what? You're going to find some pastor. Uh, that was the God of quoted that earlier, 23rd verse. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I should not want. He made me to lie down in what? Green, Green pastures. He made me beside the still, still waters. For his name's sake. Yeah, yeah. For his what? Namesake. In the pattern of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah. He's going to lead me if I use him as my shepherd. He'll That's lead it. you to water, but he's going to lead you on the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Path of righteousness? How would he don't lead me in the wrongness? No. For his name's sake. You got the wrong one then. Uh oh, <laughs> I got the wrong Jesus. The wrong voice. Uh, I like that woman. That uh, woman on the street. I, 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 I see how them did street ministry, jail ministry, prison ministry. Lord, I'm about to nursing home. Now I'm over here at Digi's Hot Bottle Center. I ain't tired yet. I just got started. Amen. Thank you. Just got what? I just got started. Amen. I feel no ways tired. Come on now. Read that next verse, Pastor. You got to finish. Well, we're at, Brother John. Verse 10. We're at 10? Yes, sir. Yeah, the thief coming, not, but the steal. Who is that thief? The devil. Now, the devil. Don't let him steal now. Yeah. Don't let him steal your joy. And don't let him steal a word from you, your proud life, your passion life, your praise and worship life. Don't let him steal from you now. And to kill, after you get through, stealing, he's going to kill you. That's him. Oh, I don't think I'm going to fool with that devil no more. No, sir. And to destroy. I don't think want to fool with him no more. Yeah, tell mm -hmm. I am come that you may have life uh -huh. and that you may have it what? Abundant. Now, in Jesus, I got an abundant life. Yeah. But when I was out there having fun with the devil, he's trying to kill me. Yeah. And he ain't got nothing there to tell me one day. You having fun. Yeah. Well, there ain't no fun getting locked up three times, stabbing you from the heart, shot at 14 wrecks. I was going to stop drinking. Ain't no fun in that. Don't y'all try that junk. It ain't going to work for you. Yeah. Ain't going to work for you. Leave it alone. Start here so you have to start back there. All right. Start where? Here. Start here. Yeah. So you have to start back there. Pastor, you got, to, you got to go down to here a little bit. There's too much grocery shit. Oh, well, Brother Charles, you've you been chewing over here. I cannot tell you've been chewing. Brother Charles, been chewing. So I got the body life in Jesus. Lord, that blessed God. You got to read down to me. I am the good shepherd. Mm -hmm. The good shepherd gave his life for his what? Jesus. Did he give his life? Yes, he did. He gave his life for us. Yes, he, he died. Did. Lord, have us so we can live. I said, Jesus didn't die for himself. He ain't had no sin. Lord, have mercy. And God had to have a perfect sacrifice uh, without a spot, without a wrinkle, without a blemish. Uh. And Jesus Christ came and fulfilled that for us. Amen. Bless God so we can live and not die and have an abundant life in him. I like abundant life. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead, Pastor. You got to go down now. You got to go down. Lord, I'm blessed myself here. Where we're at now? 12. We're going to 12? Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Brother John. But he that is in Harlem, what's in Harlem? High. Huh? You high. You're high. high. Yeah. You know how the preachers fill out a, net, a resume? Yeah, they get high. And they get, they get to church, they fill out a resume. And then what they do, they the deacons and everybody at the church, they get the resume. Yeah. And see if you qualify to make the church uh, bigger and larger. Lord, have mercy. Just don't step on nobody's toes over there, because then you'll lose, amen, your church. Yeah, your job over. You preach what we tell you to preach, because we paying you, preacher. 
Yeah, that's what they do. Oh, uh, they don't pay me over here to mm-hmm. preach what they want. Y'all pay me to preach what y'all want? No. Uh uh-uh. uh. When I get through preaching here, if you want to do right, you going to stay around this teaching or you going to hook them up and boogie them up. <laughs> what you going to do, Pastor? <laughs> you going to hook them up and boogie them up. You going to move around for me? Yeah, you going to boogie around. Yeah. yeah. This is only the one folks that want to be saved. I ain't no holler. You can't buy me. You ain't paying. You get through paying your tithe, I'm going to talk about you if you ain't right. That's it. And not the shepherd who saw all the sheep alive, seeing the wolf coming and leaving the sheep, and what? Please. He right. take off running, but he ain't nothing to holler. Yeah. He see that, he see a, a, a coming in the church, he see that wife, he see that man ripping off the church, and then he see that sister seducing him. Lord, that must have. Come on now. The preacher? In a bit of a holler. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Pastor. And the wolf scattered them and scattered the sheep. See the wolf coming, leaving the sheep, flee it, and the wolf what? Scattered the sheep. Yeah, they're coming to church. The wolf do. I said, a wolf coming to church. Huh. And the preacher, he paid. It paid him to preach. Yeah. Preach good, sound good. You ask me what the preacher said. I don't know. <laughs> but we had a good time. Yeah. So I yeah, yeah, no, we had a good time. Yeah, we, we had a good time. Oh, I do remember him saying, do you know him? Do you know him? Yeah, yeah. Do you know him? <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And you don't even know him. You don't even know him. And you talking about, yeah. You don't know him. But you had a good time. Yeah. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got no word. You ain't get no lesson how to live holy, how to do it, how to live right. Amen. All you know to do is this here. This is my Bible. I am what I say I am, and I can do what I say I can do. The Bible says you're a liar, you're a thief, you're a whole mother, you're a backbiter. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. You better open that Bible and find out what the Bible says about you. Read the scrolls. All right, now. Verse 13. Yeah, but it made me feel good. Yeah, it's going to make you feel good. Yeah. It sound good. Make you feel the emotion jump. Uh, it sound good doctrines. Yeah. If we want you delivered mm-hmm. and set free. Yeah. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thirteen. Yes, sir. The howling flee because he is what? He's a howling. He's a howling pity. He cared not. Fill out the resume and he paid. And said not, amen, and, and, and cared not for the sheep. He don't care nothing about you. Exactly. All he do is care about making a little money off of you. You write all them books, and now you're reading books, amen, to take you away from the Word of God. Amen. Now you got some scriptures, man, come out the Bible. But then you put his little stuff in that. Amen. I say he puts all little stuff in that. And leave the Word of God out. Amen. Well, you won't repent of nothing. Just keep serving the devil. Hey, Pastor. Uh, 12, you were testing the last part. You said the wolf kissed them, and the sheep scattered. Uh huh. Uh oh. That's on 12, doesn't it? That's the end of 12. The end of 12. Yeah. And the sheep do what? Uh-huh. And scatter the wolf. And scatter the sheep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they scatter the wolf. Right. The sheep did. Yeah. Yeah. See, a, a wolf will eat up a what? A sheep. A wolf eat up. That's why you come in here wolfing. <laughs> What's going to happen to him, fellas? Amen. I got to protect the sheep. That's it. <laughs> I got to I have to take the sheep. Do you come in here with me? I'm not scared of the wolf. I got Jesus. Can handle the wolf. I said, I got who? Jesus. I got some Jesus. I got some Holy Ghost. I can handle that wolf. And when that Holy Ghost and Jesus get through that wolf, the wolf gonna scatter. You gotta go. Yeah, you gonna take a break. You know, you know what you just said. You see, and the wolf catches them. So that's got fear. They got fear. But if they got Jesus. They ain't no fear that yeah, the wolf can't catch. That's good, Ben. Y'all heard what Ben said? If you got some Jesus, hey, man, that old, that old howling y'all got over there. Hey, the wolf trying to catch them. Uh, y'all need to come listen to Ben. You ain't going to be able to do that with you. Hey, man, because you got Jesus as your shepherd. That's it. That howling angel shepherd, Jesus is. That's good. Get a book that loud or hand clap. If you got Jesus, I don't care where you go. If you got some Jesus, the preacher ain't right. 
You had that booth hanging on get you over there. It's good, but make a nerve shut. But make a lot of nerve shut down. So uh if we get a lot of that haircut for that way, take off the work. I'm always right. The howling feed it because he's what? He'll howling and care not for the sheep. You don't care nothing about you. He wants your money, that's it. We get fortune pride. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep, and I'm known of mine. Oh, my sheep know me, I know them. That's it. And one time, I, one time a, a brother got saved and he was a sheep. And then all of a sudden he, repaid, he, he went out there that word and became a goat. And I was going out from trying to get him back in the sheepfold. And I said, well, what's wrong? I said, what's wrong? You, you left 99 and a half. Yeah. And, and that's the people that was doing right. Yeah. I said, you left 99 and you went out to one sheep. Yeah. He said, son, I went out to sheep. Not the ghost. <laughs> Not the what? Not the ghost. He ain't telling you to go after that goat anyway. <laughs> well, uh, he used to be a sheep, though, but, uh, yeah, but, but he backslid. But he, yeah, he, he, he was bucking. He was bucking. He, he was chair. hiding from me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I go, I go try to get him a chair. He was yeah, hiding. Yeah, he wasn't trying to do none of that. Yeah, he, wasn't try, he wasn't trying to do right. When you got to him, you were still bucking that too. I, so I thought I was sitting out there sheep. <laughs> so the Lord had to remind me. Who had to remind me? I said, the Lord had to remind me that he didn't turn to a goat. He wasn't in a sheep no more. He was straight goat. He was hiding in bucking. <laughs> That's the best we said that all. He said, I know my sheep. My, my sheep know me. Mm -hmm. Did he As the Father know me, even so now, out of Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Yeah. Uh, and other sheep I have. I got some other ones out there. I got to go get them. I got to go get them. Uh, which are not of this fold. They don't belong to this fold, but I got to go get them. Yeah. Uh, them also I must bring, and they shall be, they shall what? Hear my voice. They're going to hear my voice. Yeah. That's what we're dealing with. Yeah. What bosses are y'all listening to out there? Yeah. Make sure it's Jesus Christ's voice that you listen to. Do the word. Say the word for her. That's the only way you're going to you know his voice. Right, right. And that should be one fold. And one shepherd. There ain't going to be no Methodist, Baptist, Presbyterian, okay. Church of Christ. Oh, Lord, how much of God. Two times at Pentecostals. Lord, how much of that. There ain't going to be no more of that. He said, I'm going to go get my sheep out of there. And I'm going to take them out of there. Denominations. And I'm going to have one fold. Amen. Oh, God's somebody. He is somebody. Take us out. You're going to go to the Catholic Church and get some out of there, too. I was used to be one of them. Me, too. Yeah. He got me out. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving me to go get me. Heavenly Father, therefore thou, do it, my Father, love me, because I laid down my life that I might take it up again. Amen. Bless God. He said, I, my Father, my Father love me because I'm obeying his commandments. That's right. I'm obeying what my Father wants. I'm obeying my Father's will. He wants me to die for you. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. And Jesus Christ came to the place where he had to die, and he prayed the same prayer three times. Father, let this cup pass, but nevertheless, nevertheless, Lord, not my will, but let your will be done. He took the three best with him to pray, and there was what? Sleeping. I know y'all got some proud warriors out there, and folks you pray with, and sometimes you call them, they sleeping. Talk to the Lord for yourself. All right. Learn how to talk to him for your self. self. Amen. Come on, Pastor. You own it. Uh, let's just say that, Lord. Therefore, good, my Father loved me because I laid down my life, man, that I might take it again. Uh, Lord, how much? We get 18, brother. No man take it from me, but I lay it down on myself. Yeah. I have power to lay it down. Yep, yeah, and what? I have power to take it up again. It again. This commandment, have I received a what? My father told me that if I lay it down, I'm getting back up. Whoa, now. Whoa. Now, I ain't going to keep me in that grave. What you say? And then my father told me how long I was going to be in there. Yeah. For three days. And three nights. Lord, have mercy. And three nights. And he was in the grave three days and three nights. Lord, have mercy. They came to look for his body. And he was gone. What is that? And all they found is clothes wrapped up. And there were some angels there. Yeah. Two men. They were angels. They were bright and bright apparel. Yeah. And it was there. And they said, what y'all looking for? He ain't here. All right. He gone. He ain't risen. 
Just like he said. All right. He would be. That's why I believe Jesus. That's why I study the word. I study the scroll. And I keep the scroll before me. Amen. Make sure I don't leave nothing out. And I don't add nothing to it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My Jesus, my Jesus. Give Lord a hand clap. Amen. Amen. Four years. Thought I'd better say this. Brother John, you want to take care of that? Yeah. We're going to do our spiritual exercise. Lord, Lord, Lord. Your, word said, your word said, with two or three, two or three. touching the grin. <laughs> 